We are finally at Wiscasset Bay here to eat at Red Eat. Oh man, like, is it closed? What time is it? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. 1.30, they're already closed. Okay. On our lobster roll road trip, we've eaten at five different places. Bob Lobster, Ocean Roll Food Truck, Bite Into Maine. Then we ate at Evertide Oyster Co. Finally today, we ate at Red's Eats Lobster Shack. Which one is your favorite? One? Yeah, pick oh. one. <laughs> Hi, we're Dave and Chloe, a married couple traveling the world to reconnect with our roots and seeking out new adventures. I'm from the US and my travels brought me to Korea, where I met Chloe. We moved out of our home and began our journey around the globe together. So come along with us as we explore the world through food, family, and friends. One of the perks about being full-time travelers is that I got us a travel credit card. That means that we get to show up, pick a car in this executive aisle that Chloe took three times to decide. We actually had a Dodge Charger, an Audi Q3 to choose from, but we chose this gorgeous red 4x4 Jeep. How are you Mmm. <laughs> we are gonna go up to Maine on this car for our main road trip, and it's perfect because we're gonna be eating a lot of lobster, and this is Lobster Red. <laughs> Time to go. The first place I picked for our lobster roll roll trip to Maine actually is not Maine. This place has specialty lobster rolls. It just intrigued me so much that we had to stop by for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> we are here at the first stop at Bob Lobster in Newbury, Massachusetts. The first one we got here is a Thai chili lobster roll. It has fried lobster, sriracha mayo, toasted brioche, Thai chili sauce, scallions, and diced fresh avocados. I never had a lobster roll like this. This is gonna be a mess. Yes. I never had lobster over fried lobster and it works. It adds a level of crispiness and crunchiness that you don't get normally. And the sriracha Thai chili sauce adds a little bit of sweetness and a kick to it. And the avocado adds that creaminess right at the end. Chloe saw the mess that I made, so she's gonna use the knife and fork. This one here is the lemon tarragon. Lobster, not fried, with a toasted brioche bun. Lettuce, lemon tarragon, crispy shallots. Oh. Can you do it? Mmm, it's Oh shoot, no one came. That lemon tarragon mayo is delicious. And the lobster itself is super sweet and tender. Wow, so the lemon tarragon has a slight licorice flavor apparently and it doesn't really punch out so it's very subtle with the fresh lettuce on the bottom and they give you a good amount of lobster. I'm gonna take another bite honey, it's so good. <laughs> what? I got sauce on my face? <laughs> too good. Wow, you're good.
꼭 오세요. 음식도 맛있고 분위기도 너무 좋아요. 랍스터 여기 강추 강추. I think it set a high bar for our lobster roll road trip through Maine, and we're not even in Maine. 앞으로의 랍스터가 기대가 돼. So let's go to our next destination on our lobster road trip. We are heading to our Airbnb. We're taking a nice slow route along the coast to get there. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep? Every night? Nice to meet you. What's Good. This is my wife, Chloe. So let me bring you up. Wow. <laughs> it looks gorgeous right now. Oh, thank you. Yes. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. We did Why not have any expectations when we came and looked at this. When beach. it's gray outside, it really makes me wonder. The sun is setting, the sky is starting to turn, yeah, so it it's gonna get wonder. even better with this. I can't believe Today is day two on our lobster road, road, our lobster roll road trip, and we are gonna be hitting at least two places today. Mm. Oh, lobster roll truck! Oh, wow, true. Lobster roll truck. Oh, it's oh, it's interesting. The price is also good. Oh, I found a truck. I found a truck. 맛이 궁금해서 지금 유턴하는 중입니다. 이런 게 여행의 묘미지. 오, 라스타 트럭입니다. So this place is called Ocean Rolls and it is located in Kennebunk, Maine and it's right outside a old machine shop. This is going to be the wild card to see if it contends with all the other lobster roll places that I've looked up. There's two styles that's very common in Maine. There's the southern style, which they call a Connecticut style, warm lobster and butter, and then the Maine style, which is going to be cold lobster with mayonnaise. So those are the two primary styles here that you can find. We're going to try the hot one first before it gets cold. <sighs> Gotta prepare. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! It smells really good. I mean, because it's warm, it's got that lobster fragrance coming off and the butter. Mmm! I can see what you're saying about the bun, honey. Nicely toasted, soft, and it's so simple but it really just brings out the flavor of the lobster. And if you love lobster and butter, this is your lobster roll. This is the main style. Mmm. Totally different from the Connecticut style. The lobster is, is cold, but that mayonnaise, I'm pretty sure they put celery salt. It tastes like there's celery in it, but I don't see any celery. Very refreshing. This, I can eat the whole thing without feeling heavy. This is pretty good. I'm really happy we got to get a baseline of what lobster rolls are roughly supposed to be. Which one did you like so far? Lemon Goragon? Oh, the lemon tarragon? Yeah. Ah, tarragon. Yeah. Goragon is good. I think that's my favorite so far on the trip. Let's continue on this lobster roll journey and figure out if any other lobster roll is going to topple the lemon tarragon from first place. On to the next one! We're here at our second location on our lobster roll tour through Maine and we are at Fort Williams Park about to try Bite Into Maine which shows up a lot on the internet and we're really excited to give it a try. How are you guys doing today? Good, we're doing great. Wonderful. Uh, can we get the large Maine? Large Maine. And then a regular size wasabi? Wonderful choices. And Maine's got the chives. Alright, thank, thank you, you so enjoy. much. It smells really good. 
We got a quarter pound of lobster in the wasabi, and we got a 6.5 ounce, which, let me do my math, a little bit more than a third pound of lobster. Here you go, Chloe. Thank you. So the fact that we're eating delicious looking lobster rolls in this amazing setting just makes this even better. It might not look that much different, but it feels different. This is much heavier. Mm. Eh? I'm so jealous. I'll help you out. All right, here. Wow. Wow, Yeah? Mm. It looks small when I was carrying it over, but it's massive now that I'm trying to eat it. Mmm! Whoa! This one has such good lobster flavor, even though it's a cold version of the sandwich. That lemon and the mayonnaise. Mm. Oh. oh, this lobster is definitely like really fresh because it tastes so succulent. It's a little sweet. Very good. <gasps> So next one is the wasabi. We got the four ounce one and it's a much more manageable size. <laughs> Even the regular size seems too big. Okay. Can I have it now? <laughs> <laughs> That flavor of wasabi just coats your mouth. It makes it so refreshing and being out in this weather. Oh yeah, I can't. Uh, oh. oh, that's a claw! <laughs> Bite Into Me actually has three locations. A main restaurant and then it has two other locations. One by Highway 1, so that might be worth it going along the way if you don't have time to swing by here. And then they have this beautiful scenic location at Fort Williams Park, which I highly recommend. I think the main, just the classic main, is better than the wasabi mayo. My pick! My mouth is burning. My mouth is burning. My mouth is burning. Still not. Still my mind. In English, we don't say, it stole my mind, it stole my heart. Ah, oh, stone. My heart. Stole. Ah, 다시 할게. Stole my heart. 음. 이거 다 앞에 거 하지 말고 이거 사용해 줘. Okay. Oh wait, <laughs> I want to try a little bit of lemon on this. 음. 음. 레몬 하니까 그리워? No, don't put lemon on the wasabi. Don't give you a lemon for the wasabi one. It ruins the wasabi. 잠깐만. Yeah, no, I got, I got lobster meat in all my teeth right now. We have now gone to three places and eaten six different lobster rolls now. Which one is your favorite so far? <sighs> it toppled the lemon tarragon? Oh, oh what? Babysit. <laughs> mm. Hold on, let me try that again. <laughs> mm. That is hard to choose. This one. I think it's it's just the purity of the lobster. Just the lobster quality is done so well. Like if they use this lobster with the lemon tarragon, yeah, yeah. oh, I think that would be... I, I would just pass out <laughs> from eating that. But just buy a little. This one is like, just buy a little. But let's go. Okay, let's go. Oh, I'm going to eat it for three days. But let's go. Oh, I'm going to eat it for a while. Oh, yeah, so we have more lobster rolls coming your way. We are going into Portland today. I found an interesting place that served lobster rolls on a Asian style steamed bun instead of the typical biosh, uh, not biosh. Oh, I forgot the name of the bread, but you know, the typical bread. <laughs> We finally got our table here at Evening Tide Oyster Company. It was more than a two hour wait. So this is their main lobster stew. It has coconut milk and green curry.
Oh, actually adding the saltine makes it a little saltier, but it adds a different texture to it, a nice crunchy cracker texture. I think goes really well with the soup. But I'm also a little curious if this was supposed to be the soupy because it says stew. The picture that I kind of saw looked like it was thicker, but I mean, I liked it. Wow. Mmm, it's uh, So this is what we came here for. Their style of the lobster roll with the Asian twist by adding a steamed bao instead of the classic bread. Oh, the bun is so squishy, it's spongy. It's not toasted at all. It's just steamed, but it's so fluffy. It's almost like it's on a rice bun cloud. What it does is puts the focus mostly on the lobster, but then you have that really soft, cloudy texture that surrounds that lobster while you're eating. Whoa. All right, Chloe, here you go. Mmm. Mm. Hey, we are here at Red's Eats in Wakasset Bay. And uh, we got here at 11.45 a.m. They open at 11.30. And there's already a line around two corners. That's crazy that it's already this busy. So we're really excited to be here to try Red's Eats. We drove an hour and 45 minutes just to eat here. That just adds more anticipation to the lobster rolls we're gonna be getting. We have already been waiting for about an hour and an announcement was just made saying like, once they're sold out, they're done. And today I found out it's supposedly their last day of the season. I, I think we're okay. I think we'll get it. We'll get it, we'll get it. We'll definitely get it. Thanks for being here. Thank you, 2021. This is their last day and we were like the 10th to last person to be able to get the lobster roll because they're, they're done. They're done for the season. We got the classic lobster roll, side of sea, fried sea scallops, and we got sweet potato fries, which is wow. one of my favorites. Look at the beast of this lobster roll, honey. How do we eat this? <laughs> oh, already a good tip. Use the foil. Oh my God, that's so much lobster. Oh, okay. It's sort of season your own. They didn't put any seasoning, so it's up to you. I like that. It's very Korean. A lot more butter. Okay, just a little bit. I don't think it needs much. This is basically a pile of lobster with like a bread to just to put it on. <laughs> it's so much lobster, it's really good. Here, honey. It's really good. Yeah, we're really enjoying it. Thank you. We were talking about like, oh, I think we're lobstered out, but then we eat this and we're just like, oh, this is, this is amazing. <laughs> These lobsters, I would say is on the like, the more undercooked side, but that just means it's like sweeter, more tender, more juicy and less chewy. Mm, oh, whoa. Yeah. The lobster roll is really delicious. That is definitely high quality lobster. It tastes like it was just fished out either yesterday or today. Right. <laughs> I'm glad I got the ski scallop. Tuta? You're crazy. Is it that good? So, so tender. I love sea scallops. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn, that's actually really good. I love how they cook seafood because a lot of places, I think they tend to overcook seafood. This is perfect. Yeah, don't just order the lobster roll, order the other stuff. They're really good. I mean, they have signs that says they're like, wow. like they're famous for sandwiches and other things. Oh, this is the last sea scallop. Last one. Ban ban or ban ban? Ban ban. Okay. 조개 좀 맛있지. 뭔 열면 난 사실 거야. 
Oh, good. Just want to check because I wanted more sea scallops, but they are done, done. Done for the season. They're not going to open until next year. I'm so sad. I should have ordered a basket. Oh, they had a basket of sea scallops. I didn't order that. Sweet potato fries. Let's go. Okay, damn. Okay, reds. Reds. What the heck? Dude. They've done everything really, really good. These are one of the best sweet potato fries I've had. Wow. And I've had a lot because I love sweet potato fries. We're also the last customers of the season sitting on the deck. <laughs> it feels weird. I just got that lobster tail. That's really good butter. It's a local main butter. One more bite. Don't eat my finger. Eat them all. Just eat it. Don't worry. I'll eat it then. Oh yeah. Don't complain if you want more later. We're gonna finish up here and then we'll talk about our lobster roll road trip and figure out which was the best. But the way we reacted here, it might you might think it's this. <laughs> We've had an amazing three days mm. of lobster roll road trip here in Maine. Cheers to our Cheer. road trip. On our lobster roll road trip, we've eaten at five different places. Bob Lobster, Ocean Roll Food Truck, Bite Into Maine. Then we ate at Evertide Oyster Co. Finally today, we ate at Red's Eats Lobster Shack. Of these five places and eight lobster rolls later, <laughs> I've never eaten that much lobster in such a short period of time. Well, okay, how about this? Pick your second favorite. Oh, bite into Maine. That was your number two? Oh, my number two was also bite into Maine. Yeah, I know. Same. Same. I, we didn't talk about this beforehand. Number one. Let's, let's say it. Let's say it together, okay? That's it. Okay. Okay. All right, ready? Ready, 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 ready? Reds. <laughs> Why was it red? Come on, obviously it was really delicious. It's number one. And don't forget the lemon. I agree 100% with Chloe. Really, in the end, it was how fresh and how they cooked the lobster. Because it was cooked, just cooked enough, it was all tender. It was at the borderline of like, this is cooked just right. Imagine a medium rare steak. That's kind of what it was. It, it was cooked to that point where it was so soft and succulent and juicy. Oh my god, it's drooling already. <laughs> my honorable mention out of everything that came out of this was those sea scallops. Oh my god. I haven't had sea scallops that delicious in such a long time. That was a, that was a hidden hit. If you go to um, Red's, you gotta get the sea scallops and get the basket. We got the side mm. and we want to order more, but because they're close for the season, we can order more. I would highly recommend to do a road trip here, especially in the middle of autumn. The leaves, the colors, it's a little chilly sometimes, but I think the weather is also a really good time to come. And we got so lucky that we went to Red's the last day. Hey, if you sat through this epic long lobster roll road trip through Maine, thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy this trip and maybe come to Maine in the future. So if you like this video, please hit like, share, and subscribe. And it really helps us out to grow. Come and buy all. Lobster roll. Lobster roll tour. Hey, we are here. We are here. <laughs> this is uh, lobster Chloe today. Lobster, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I probably could do this without my mask on. Too late, got no hands. Can't even stop the recording now, because I have no hands. Oh, we got a black, we got a, uh, oh, hold on, my face is still there. Too close, it's too close, honey. In the middle, okay.
ਹੋਈ ਹੈ